Welcome everyone to another tutorial, tutorial video for SOLIDWORKS. In this video, I will share with you on how to draw this model. So it is not that complicated. Let's have a look at the sketches of this model. So this is the sketches and according to the instruction, you need to extrude the model by extruding it in two direction. Direction 1 or with an angle of 35 degree and direction 2 with 0 degree but with 15 millimeter depth. So without further ado, let's start our tutorial. As usual, this is the final model that you will produce. So let's get started. Click new part and click OK. Click sketch and then click sketch again choose the front plane and now we want to start our sketches at the center of this two red arrow so if we refer back to our example here we are going to start our sketches at the center over here So let's start by creating a circle. When is 13? 2. Radius. Another circle. 19. And click yes. Draw a center line. The line. Horizontal. Now. Line over here, then by using the mirror function like this one and mirror about option, click on this line and click yes. So the distance between these two horizontal lines should be 20. Remove the unwanted entity first. Then it with a bigger circle. In this case, fifty six. Let's draw a another center line from the origin to over here make sure this angle is 30 degree once you do that draw another circle and the first click should be on this center line the second click should be tangent to the bigger circle and change the radius to 13 and then by using the function of mirror entity, click on this smaller circle, click the mirror about function, and click on this center line. So it will create another circle at the bottom part of your sketch. Click OK. So the next thing you need to do, another circle, click at the center, and then click it over here so that this outer bigger circle is tangent to the circle with the 13 millimeter radius. Now you have a bigger circle, a smaller circle. Uh, you might want to delete or remove any entities that we don't want so that later on doesn't become too confused with these lines. 
here and also over here. So create another circle inside of here. 15 over 2. Same over here. 15 over 2. Okay, yes. So the next step is that we want to create a small radius over here. So by using this function cache fillet, you might want to zoom a bit. So the next step is to select this cache fillet and move it, move your cursor to this location so that it will create a small curve over there and click it. Click OK. So you can see that another curve has been created over here. So repeat the same step for this point and click. Okay, so basically, uh, I think we are almost done on the right hand side of our sketch. Let's focus to the left hand side of our sketches. This one. Let's reduce the length a bit. How do we do this? Is that we start from the very end of the sketch. So draw a line. 25. Then mirror entity to the center line. Click OK. So make sure the distance of this vertical line to the center is 90. Draw another line here and also here. And now we want to draw uh, the, the distance from this point to this point by clicking the dimension supposed to be 49 here to here 9 do that we want to draw a line from this point going down to this line with an angle of 75 degrees the line at first just uh, just draw anywhere and then by using the smart dimension tools click on this line and this line so that we can and bring it over here so this is where it should be 75 so we can use mirror entity so that we can reflect this line over here so click on this line Click this mirror about function and click on this center line. Click OK. do now is to create another line from here to over here and by using the mirror entity function click on this line click the mirror about options and click on this center line so now we will have a line over here so the distance of this line to the center 
should be 90. Sorry, 61. The next step is to connect this line, this line. Distance between these two points is given. We want to project this line to the bottom part of our sketches. We want to delete unwanted entity. Another step, the angle of these two lines should be 28. That's it. We forgot another uh, radius over here. Click on this radius button and click over here and also click over here. Click OK. Basically, I think we are done with our sketches. As of now, let me have a check first. OK, I think we should be OK. So now what we need to do is to use this extruded pause or base function so that we can turn uh, these sketches into a 3D body. So as you can see, uh, in this case, we need to have two direction. By default, this one is not tick. So you need to click on this direction too. And according to our instruction just now, direction one, it has some angle of 35 degrees. So make sure over here is 35 degree and uh, direction 2 is 15. You can have a look first at the preview given by the software. Once you feel comfortable or confident, then click OK. You notice at this from this view, you will have this tangent line. So for me, it is it's quite annoying. So how to remove these tangent lines is that you go for view, go to display and click this tangent edges remove. So now you can see the tangent lines are no more uh, making your drawing look a bit smooth. As usual, you can change the color. Uh, in this case, I think color should be fine. Get to save your your work. So as usual, I hope you learned something from my video tutorial. Uh, should you have any suggestion or question or comment? Uh, please write it down in the comment section and as usual uh, thank you for watching my video goodbye